out again. Draw me. Oh, draw me. Draw me. Draw me, Lord. That I may run after you. That I may run after you, Lord. Run after you. Run after you. Oh, yes, Jesus. Bring me into your chambers. Into that place where you dwell. Where your manifest presence is. Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. If the Lord is dealing with your heart, and you're saying, Lord, I want a deeper consecration. A deeper level of consecration into my life, because I want the chambers of the Lord. If that's you, maybe, maybe he's putting his finger on something in your life right now. You know it is. I'm going to ask you to take a bold step tonight and get out of your seat. And I want you to come up to this place. And I'm going to pray for you and others will pray for you as well. But you'll have a breakthrough tonight. And maybe there's something in your flesh that you've been struggling with for a long time. And the Lord says, tonight is the night that you die. That you die to self with that thing. For it's held you back long enough. Now is the time to fulfill your calling. Now's the time. You want the chambers of the Lord. If that's you, get out of your seat and let's meet me right down here. Let's pray. Anyone here tonight? Deeper level of consecration. Deeper level of consecration. Deeper level. I'm telling you as you yield to the Spirit tonight. The Holy Spirit's going to move upon you. There's going to be a breaking of your will tonight. And God's going to open the chambers of the King. I'm not saying you're in deep sin. I'm saying you're wrestling with something. You're wrestling. God's put his finger on something. Maybe it's an attitude. Whatever it is, you're wrestling. And I want to pray for you tonight. That the Holy Spirit would help you tonight. You would yield to the Spirit and that you would consecrate your life. That you would truly run after God. That you would be running after God tonight. And through the running, you would walk right into the chambers of the Lord. Amen?